What's up, y'all? We are at Spokane Valley Archery Range. Tim Connor, Jacob Webb. He was just on the podcast. Check out the Elk Shape Podcast, episode 128, a determined rookie elk hunter. That's him. Today, we are doing some 365 prep. We are going to get a little nerdy with our archery gear because it's that time of year. So, Tim, what's the game plan? We are shooting bows. We are chronoing. Chronoing. Speed. Speed. Testing our feet per second. It's one of the very most popular questions we get, so we're going to answer that. We're going to answer that. We're going to test poundage, right? We're going to test jaw weight, holding weight. Jake's got a new bow. We're going to show that off. What else? Uh, we're going to do, uh, for those that don't have their weight or their arrows, we'll we'll get your, your weight so we can do any calculations, front of center or whatever, and uh, go from there. But let's go put these arrows now, real quick. I haven't shot my, this is the VXR 28. Uh, I had it at 79 pounds. It was too much for me. So I threw on 70 pound mods and it's uh, pulling, I think 73, 74 pounds feet per second. I don't know, but I'm gonna guess right now. Official guess is 280 Katie. What was, uh, have you shot yours yet? Okay, I'm I you, you already looked and you already know yours. So I'm the only one who doesn't know. Let's go find out. I don't even know what I'm doing. Of course, you got an extra one of these? Oh, uh, we need one of Forrest oh, is the master archery shot man. Figured it was better if we had a neutral party weigh these arrows. Unbiased. Unbiased. And. 456.8. And whose arrow was that? Dan, Dan Staten's. Dan Staten. Try Tim's. Which of us do you think is going to shoot the fastest, Forrest? Do you want to know what I think is best, or do you want to know? <laughs> no, we just want you to weigh these. 519.1. Okay. 499.9. Nice. I like Dan's the best. Who's going to shoot the fastest? What? Dan. Yeah. Well, it depends on draw length. My draw length's short, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take a second look there. Um, All right, so 29 inch draw length. Jake. 28 and three quarter. All of 27. Is they're all shooting? Same arrow, same diameter. Um, Mine's 29 at 70 pounds. Weights. What are draw weights? But I'm shooting a bow tech. <laughs> Unbiased. <laughs> Unbiased. Unbiased. What are draw weights? Mine's 79.4. 74 pounds. 70 pounds. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna say Jake. I think Jake's. Jake's got which setup? Uh, I got the Matthews 31 and a half. It's got the 75 pound mods. Forrest twisted the string, so we're at 79.4. Yeah, That's, 500 yeah. grain arrow. My VXR 28, uh, when I walked out of here was 79 pounds. I shot it like at home and I said, screw this. I put 70 pound mods in. <laughs> I was like, seriously, like I'm getting old. I, I don't like it. Dude, I hear you like the other day I was drawn back cause I'm left handed, but right handed. Like I felt a muscle like go over my shoulder <laughs> and it's been killing me last Not week. Good. Plus you pull bows back for a while. Yeah, it doesn't help heal when you gotta keep doing it. Forrest, give him a 30 second over here of your rig. What you shooting right now? My rig? Hunting arrow. Look at no one's bullet. 30 seconds. Hunting arrow? I actually have one. No. All right, so this is my setup. I'm running the Revolt X. Um, our strings, obviously. I have this thing at like 72 pounds right now. I'm kind of a baby. I'm not gonna go any more than that. I am running a, I'm running a RIP TKO with a left helical and then VAP, or VPA, sorry, 100 grain. I'm running a 65 grain outsert, the steel outsert, left helical that is. Total arrow weight? Uh, 421. I'm not a big heavy guy as long as I got some weight up front. Um, is your outsert wider than your arrow? Yeah, so I'm running the 204 arrow, basically an axis, um, but the outsert is wider. Um, I've had no troubles with penetration, like, <laughs> 60 yards, I've passed through all. He doesn't have any troubles. He's got so, a kid on the way. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> troubles. So yeah, I mean, I personally like th that idea and I've seen it test well too, where it punches a wider hole and slides yeah. in behind it. Now, Whitetail, I had this in 
because uh, I was going to chase a turkey. any problems to date with your outserts bending? So that is, I have with the longer outserts. I haven't with the short steel outserts yet. What are those? They're made by Victory. They're the longer ones. I was broadhead tuning the other day and I did notice that they were bending a little bit, but I also hot glued them in, which might not necessarily be the best option. So that could have been it as well. But That's cool, man. Thanks for showing off your rig. Yeah. Okay, so this is the BXR28 that we rattle canned. This is an Axis match grade 340 spine. It's coming in at 354 at 100 grain broadhead, 454 total weight. Uh, 100 grains of Grim Reaper. Uh, this is a three blade micro Hades, I guess you'd call it. It's uh, what I've used for quite a few years. This is a helical to the left and it's probably a five, five and a half degree helical to the left. I've tried four fletch, three degree offset to the right and left, and this is what's been best for me. And we have 70 pound mods. I think I'm right around 74 pounds pulling weight and holding weights around 14 pounds. Just slapped on a new sight tape today, so I'm excited to inspect. Might take this bear hunting tomorrow. Draw length. 27, uh, let off's at 80%, and yeah, we'll see. I don't know, we'll go find out how fast she is. Hey guys, so I'm running uh, 31 and a half, Matthews. All right, so we got 75 pound mods in. Um, we have twisted the string. I personally haven't pulled it back. I was told it's at 80. We're gonna check that today. And I'm shooting a 500 grain arrow, three fletch. I got 50 um, brass up front with 125 broadhead. So I'm running uh, the Maxis match grade or uh, the axis, sorry. Max to axis. Yep, three fletch, max to the left, 500 grains. I'm gonna measure that. So we haven't talked about my setup a lot, but it's Bowtech Realm X. It's a Bowtech Realm X. Last time I checked the weight, it was 74 pounds. I have about a 29 inch draw length. These are 500 plus or minus. You're gonna get to see that. So we're gonna test poundage, shooting the Easton axis, Eastern Axis Arrow, 150 grain broadhead up front. Total weight's just over 500. And yeah, this is what we got. We're gonna rip a few. Sliding this. <laughs> Is that right? Dude, I lost six pounds of. You used to be 74, man. Should have got a Matthews. <laughs> yeah. <about> <laughs> 68 pounds. 68 pounds, shooting 280 feet per second. I'm slinging them. You know, shaming 68. Alicia shoots 68. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she does. <laughs> She's stronger than most men. There we go. So that's, it was 74 when the string went on. So maybe that string stretch or. That's what that was when it was brand new from the factory. Shoot a couple arrows through the chronograph. Commended from Caldwell. So from this first tube back, they want you one arrow length. So they don't want you standing here shooting like that. So we got our mark on the ground-ish, one arrow length, we're gonna shoot from here, right through the middle. Say 275. Am I good, Jake? Mm -hmm. Yep. Now it's uh, 70 millimeter. <laughs> 276, that's low. The grip was the biggest. That's one. it, 275-ish. All right, horses up. Cal Douglas. 
chance, something. Just lobbing them in there. Just like me. Dude, that is plenty fast. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just messing around. It's all the same, man. I'm just teasing. Wait, how fast? 274. I, I think mine was 274, wasn't it? Yeah. But you got like three inches of length on your arms, though. On Dan. How was your drawing? 27. I only have an inch. I'm 28. That's what she said. I wanted to bring Jake on and kind of close this video out and tell you, hey, we're just kind of nerding out, figuring out our numbers. Our, I'm not that worried about the feet per second, not at all. I'm worried about forgiveness, shootability, what feels best, dead in hand. 273, speed is not my ally. Consistency, lack of variance, I like that. If you're looking at investing in one of these, I want to pick Jake's brain. Where did you get this? How much did it cost you? So I got this from Sportsman's here locally. Sportsman's um, Warehouse? Sportsman's Warehouse. Okay. Um, I think it was 120-ish. The reason I got it was just kind of to tune, geek out, just like we're talking about. So I wanted to see total weights. I wanted to kind of see speeds, feet per second. And I wanted to see FOC do that percentage stuff on a calculator, uh, just an app. So. So what did you end up, I know you tried offsets, four fletch, three fletch, helical, straight. What did you end up settling for your setup and why? What I ended up settling with, I got 50 grains of brass up front. I'm running a 125 grain broadhead and I'm doing three fletched, um, they're max to the left. What, like a helical? Helical Are you left. using the Arizona Easy Fletch? Exactly, what we're running, just a regular, regular knock. No light of knock, no wrap, nothing on the back, so that's bad weight, me personally in the back. I hunt in Montana a lot, so I can't run a uh, light of knock anyways, so. Montana still doesn't allow light of knocks? Really? Nope. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Uh, I know Idaho we'll doesn't, but, okay, cool. I would rather see Montana not allow mechanicals, expandable, sorry friends, and allow lighted knocks. Yeah, I, so. I have no problem with them. I would actually personally run one if they would let me. Yeah, So cool. I think uh, seeing where you impacted on the animal is is money. Yeah, well, let's, uh, let's go shoot. You guys have a good rest of your week. Your homework is to pen and paper, figure out your draw poundage, your hold weight, maybe figure out your feet per second, maybe calculate your front of center, maybe continue testing different variances in arrow setups until you find the right one for you.